Hi, this is Anil and welcome back to what's the output video series on C programming language. So just like the previous tutorials, just pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just uh, play this movie, you know, I'm going to run the program and I'm going to explain the output. All right, now we believe that you guys have an answer for this program. I'm going to build and run this. So it's going to be build and run. And the answer for this program is going to be the compilation error. So if we look at the um, build messages or, you know, the error log, you guys can see here, we have in function main error A is undeclared. So uh, here, if you look at the source code, we have defined a macro called SQR and we have used A in that macro. So here, the problem is with this SQR macro, we were intended to use a function like macro, which is nothing but a macro which takes an argument. So here, the problem is after this macro name, we have added a space and that is causing the problem. So what happens is when you compile this program, you know, the preprocessor will be executed first. So it's going to search for this SQR macro and then it's going to replace this SQR macro with its definition, which is going to be this entire thing. So here the preprocessor thinks that this SQR is a normal macro, not a macro which takes an argument. So what it does is it's going to replace this SQR with its definition. So this much will be replaced for SQR. So after preprocessing, this statement is going to look something like this. So you guys can see here, we have x equal to 25 divided by a, which is in the parenthesis, that is uh, this a, and then we have a space, and then again we have a star a. So this much is the macro definition of this SQR that is uh, replaced for SQR. Then we have this uh, 5 in the parenthesis. So this statement is going to look something like this after the preprocessor. And here, then what happens is uh, this A will be treated as a normal variable. So here in our program, we haven't defined a variable called A, and that's why it says undeclared a and that's why you know we are getting the error so the main problem is we are using this space after the macro name so if i remove this space here then see preprocessor is going to treat this as a macro which is going to take an argument so whatever the value which we pass to this sqr macro that will be taken for this variable a and um, it is substituted in this macro definition. So now if I run this program, you guys can see, you know, it compiles properly and it, and it produces the result, which is one, because now after the preprocessing, the, uh, preprocessor output is going to look something like this 25 divided by five multiplication 5 so 5 multiplication 5 will be executed first you know whatever the things we have in the parenthesis will get the higher precedence so it's going to be executed first so it's going to produce 25 then 25 divided by 25 which is going to be 1 so that result we're going to get so the uh, main thing or important thing to notice is when you are defining a function like macro don't add a space between the macro name and its uh, argument part so this is it guys hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial